Kenya enjoys high rates of mobile penetration, but the uptake of affordable digital financial services lags somewhat behind. Among the reasons is the urban-rural digital divide that has disadvantaged rural communities with regard to technology-driven financial inclusion. It is this challenge that led FinServ, a subsidiary of Equity and Arifu, to apply for support to the Mastercard Foundation Fund for Rural Prosperity for its unique project. It had the objective of scaling up digital financial services where we are supposed to onboard customers on our mobile channel, Equitel, so that they can be able to enjoy the benefits of uh, digital financial services. Also to train them through another partner uh, called Arifu, uh, who provided us a platform where they were able to access uh, the content easily on their mobile phones. The Finsa Varifu project is a 2.2 million US dollar initiative that involves training beneficiaries on a wide range of mobile financial services. The initiative was rolled out in July 2017 with FinServ and Arifu as the funders and Equitel MVNO as the channel. Through our financial education program, we are able to provide training around key modules, including savings, managing debt, accessing formal financial services, uh, making uh, investments, and uh, accessing insurance. These uh, five module areas have uh, really been effective in uh, helping our beneficiaries acquire the appropriate knowledge and financial capabilities to be able to develop better money management practices, including uh, saving, including uh, improving their profiles for accessing uh, credit that they so much require, uh, either for their households or even investing in their businesses. On subscription, beneficiaries access financial services through the phone, including an interactive session where customers respond on topic of choice. Arifu Chief Commercial Officer Mandy Birdi says the project has resulted in increased adoption of digital services, enabling most of the beneficiaries to begin transacting digitally. Fueled by the uh, progress from the first project, uh, we continued our partnership with Equity Group, this time partnering with FinServ and Mexico AFA, who also contributed additional funding and support. Um, the project included new as well as the existing trainings to be delivered via SMS over the Equitel My Life menu. The primary objective was to reach the over 400,000 learners of FinServ. The learnings consisted of uh, financial business education as well as uh, agri-learning modules prepared in collaboration with Mercico um, AFA. The impact of the trainings is evident in the changes that have taken place in the lives of the 480,000 beneficiaries who were trained in the first phase of the project. Among the subscribers of the project is Samuel Kihara, who runs a motor spare parts business in Karatina, Nyeri County. <laughs> Kane an insurance agent in Malindi, Margaret Fondo, encourages women to use the equity line for savings in their groups. Equity imesaidia sana wakina mama wengi ambao tumekuwa nao kwa matumizi ya vyama. Hata unaweza kuwa pengine uchukua mkopo. Unataka kulipa mkopo wako. Si lazima ukimbie bank pale pale kwa kwa ile line ya equity. Nataka kulipa loan yangu. Nitaingia kwa equity line, niende kwa banka yangu, pesa zangu isiko pale, nifinye pale mahali pa to pay. Nieke ile amount na yende. Si lazima mimi niende kwa banka na loan itakuwa kule inaonyesha nimelipa. A farmer in Kericho, Walter Terer, has grown his poultry business in spite of the COVID-19 pandemic that resulted in restricted movement. What I like about equity and arifu 
is that uh, Arifu gave me the information that I require concerning maybe my, my project, poultry farming. And then Equitina, on the other hand, assisted me financing the project. Samuel Mwiti of Meru chose to train on saving, budgeting and bookkeeping because he used to do a lot of impulse buying. Arifu ni platform ile inatuelimisa mambo ya kifedha sana sana. Unasendi njina equity kwa 22744. Alafu kutoka hapo unakaribiswa, unasagua ile tofi yenye unataka kusoma. Alafu kutoka hapo unaendelea na maswali, ukijibu. Masomo unayafata tu kwa simu. Itakusaidia mambo ya kusafe, itakusaidia mambo ya kumbanjet, hata mambo ya bookkeeping. A high school director, Meshak Nyagong, says Skimark migrated from manual to digital operations using Equital because it is convenient, efficient, accountable and cheaper. Before we partnered with Equity Bank, uh, we were going manual when it comes to financial collection and financial operation until when Equity Bank came in, the transaction or let me say the managing of finance was a bit better and uh, we could monitor all the transactions and all the finances easier. Maimuna Hassan of Jamia Timber in Kitale says operating on Equitel is convenient. We've had Equitel coming on board, which was very convenient. So we don't have to go visit the branch all the time. Sometimes you are busy and you can't step out of the work and go to the bank. That's outstanding product, the Equitel. Somebody deposits money, you just confirm it through your phone. The outcome of the FinServe project is in line with what was anticipated, a change in the way rural communities perceive financial services and how they engage with financial service providers. The initiative is gaining momentum as awareness rises and more beneficiaries subscribe to engage in the financial sector to grow their businesses. Ultimately, their livelihoods are being transformed. Kila mtu anaweza ni kuamua tu na kujiamini. Bora ujishughulishe kwa biashara ambayo unajua inalipa na unaamini kuwa nikifanya hivi mimi nitaweza. Nilisoma kuhusu growing the business ambayo ilinifunza ya kuwa nikiendelea kusafe kwa kwa equity. Nitaendeleza biashara yangu vizuri. Equity imekuwa ya msaada zaidi hasa upande wa kunifadhili kifedha napoomba mikopo kunisaidia na mimi kuweka utaji kwa biashara na kujikakamua kimaisha The project was supported by Mastercard Foundation Fund for Rural Prosperity The approach of Fund for Rural Prosperity was a partnership really focused on instigating enabling ideas that perhaps were not getting the support that they needed The idea was to really incubate ideas and help them become viable to actually be attempted in the marketplace. So the funding that's gone into these partnerships, example being the Equitel one, is that we're allowing ideas to be incubated and attempted. This has in turn enabled solutions to provide access to finance to individuals that would never have reached that. Equity, obviously uh, having a great reputation in Kenya, has been able to expand to rural areas, so have been able to really reach out to the ultimate beneficiaries. So. In terms of scale, our initial target was 1 million financially excluded people. So far we've reached 4.7 million people for the entire fund itself and hopefully before the end of the fund we'll be able to reach about 5 million. Mm -hmm.